All we're waiting for is the loading and then we will be good to go on Quarry. Quarry is a decent map. I wouldn't say it's a good map. Um, but it's a fun map. And we seem to start out on the bad part of the map. And I say bad part because this map is woefully unbalanced. No wait, this is the good part, sorry. I mixed them up. I completely mixed up the maps. Uh, and this is the good part. And that means that we have two games on the good part and are statistically more likely to win this one. It doesn't mean that we will win, it just means that we are most like more likely to. I haven't decided if I should take the shot. Mortar drones are They've got a fix on me. Yeah, it got a fix on me, so if it it's if it gets a fix on you, then the decision is pretty much made for you. Tango's behind the rocks. Point man. Sniper, right flank. Watch it. They got me marked. Rogue visual with oh, the Oh crap, I almost had a clear Can line of sight on him. But if these guys want to keep on just Unleashing hell, then that's fine enough for me. Picking up a signal from the recon tower. It'll be active soon. When I'm when you're on this side, you shouldn't really advance the way I do. I do it anyway. I want to get that sniper. Now we're lying down. The enemy drone overhead. Crap. I can't afford that drone to spot me, but if I fire at it, Shit, it fire. most likely will. Now. There. Tango down. Point man. Hostiles are going loud. Tower is back on Reload. Crap. <laughs> Sniper down. History. Reload both our guns. Frag out, comma, stop, bitches. See if we can't detect where the fuck the other guys are. I'm too exposed. I need to be less exposed. Ah, there you are. Tango down. One hostile remaining. Let's get this done. They revived the point man. Under heavy fire. Man down, man down. Point man down. One hostile remaining. Let's get this done. Artillery guy. Enemy activity. Marking position now. Out of out of sniper rounds, he's reviving the point man again. Go for it, push, push, push. Well played. Now that was a slightly good round. <laughs> slightly good. I'm a pretty good liar. I mean, I got 500 points that round. I shouldn't be complaining about getting to play the ranger when the ranger is quite obviously my best fucking class. I mean, that burst fire, there are people who for some ungodly reason think that the ranger should have semi-auto. And if you think that it should have semi-auto, then fine. More power to you. But I feel that that burst fire is some of the most dangerous ranged firepower in the game.
Hunt down and eliminate hostile forces in the area. Here, as a ranger, I want to stick to the left flank, really. Since... It gives me more cover. The left flank on this side doesn't give me much cover at all. This rock is usually where you hang out on this team. You don't need to. But since it's the only decent cover around, people most often choose it. I'm kind of annoyed that my character sometimes stands up without me actually needing to. Like, Enemy drone. yeah, Watch not in, like in that case, but... Oh Don't crap, me. I'm marked. Being marked in this situation means I really just hope to. Shit, man down! Suppress the target. I mean, I'm not afraid of a scout behind that hill. I should, however, be more afraid of the sniper behind said hill. Um. I didn't even actually, I didn't even know he was there, so. It remains to be seen if they feel they can revive me, but I don't think so. Because, I mean, we have this guy left. And I don't think he's going to revive me, because it would be dangerous to do so. Right now, that scout is pretty much just blowing smoke. <laughs> just one more second and that grenade would have been a double kill. But do you see what I mean? They have high ground upon us, and the only place we can hide around makes all our firing angles predictable. It, there is a reason most snipers choose to go right, left flank, uh, regardless. And I really mean regardless. Now we're back on the good side of this horrible, horrible map that I, for some reason, still like. So, we are gonna continue onwards. Now that sniper is going up there, so I think I'm going for the center, actually. The center being... That one. It's not the same one that the others hid behind uh, last game, but it's fairly close. And I have Drone support airborne. from tank and. Enemy activity. Now, the reason. Oh crap, sniper on the left flank. Like I said, snipers on this. Oh, yeah, I am. I am. Sniper down, dead. sniper down. Enemies lost visual. I'm clear. Now, our main objective is to prevent them from reviving that sniper, because as long as that sniper stays stays in the ground, he's scout history. down. I am not well not really untouchable. 
I am. Now my my roller. They're retreating. One of them is retreating left flank. My role here is to act suppressive. Heads up. Got enemy activity. Ah, crap. He almost made it. I can't act suppressive if... They're behind the hill, so... Moving up. That is to try and see if I can make them think about something else for a short, short time. Crap. Frag out. Get some. I don't think I can. And if I can't do that, I need to switch. Man down, man down. Switch flanks. And I failed. I had hoped they didn't wouldn't look that direction, but. I grew overconfident. I thought that they were so pinned down they wouldn't look my way. I was wrong. I was very, very horribly wrong. And now the sniper is far. Nice try. Far too overwhelmed. I should have real. I should have remembered that the sniper was on our right flank and that it wasn't my prerogative to do anything but support Nustijuka. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it or not. Most of the people seem to be leaving the squad so I'm gonna stay for at least one or two more games. Okay, so <laughs> our team seems to be a bit reinforced now. I don't know if the guys we played with earlier actually was Ubisoft staff, but let's pick our little Ubisoft fanboy tank in their honor. I actually have a way to check. I'm in the star players program, so I'm actually going to I'm going to check if any of my, the people I have contact with know them. And of course my computer decides that it should load the slowest of all. Hunt down and eliminate hostile forces. Ah, it's dark. One of the f things about the forums are there are special people on the forums. I mean, there was this person who was very annoyed that there were female operators. And he said something to the effect that if you're gonna have female operators, at least give them sexy outfits. And, drone airborne. and there was a part of me that's like, what the actual fuck? Minefield. I mean, how privileged, how privileged, I can't pronounce that word, how privileged do you have to be if you feel like having another gender in your game and you have to have an outfit that doesn't fit the profession they're supposed to be. I have to say that in that respect, Ubisoft has done a really nice job with Ghost War. There is 
or rather Ghost Recon Wildlands as a whole, because there is no difference between playing the game as a, a from the recon tower. Uh, man or a woman. Now, I am playing tank class a bit wrong here. Uh, the tank is not supposed to be the class that sneaks up on your enemies. Uh, but right now I feel that I want to play offensive. I have the P90. I'm not good at range. And the entire night... If I'm breaking off my speech, it's because I'm... It's because I'm of... Uh, convinced that I hear something. And I don't want my... I need to find a balance in all this. I need to learn how to talk to a stream. And because I don't... I don't consider myself having that knowledge. But at the same time, I need to be cautious so that I don't talk away all my chances to actually playing online. well. The mortar drone hasn't actually spotted me. Good, there was another rock here. I mean, I'm convinced I hear I hear footsteps, but I can't make out where they're coming from. And it's not it's not the night vision either. I mean, if there are someone, I would expect them to be. Yeah, there they are. They're heading for the recon tower. Oh, come on! If that was the guy at the recon tower who got me, then I'm just pissed. I don't think it was. I think it was a sniper who got me, but still. <sighs> or rather, I'm convinced it was a sniper who got me, and I don't think they would send a sniper up to the recon tower. So that makes it feel a bit better, but still. I actually thought they didn't know where I was, and that made the entire the entire thing a bit more tricky. I don't think I'm gonna play the tank next round. I think I'm gonna go back to either the ranger or sniper. I mean, one of the classes I can actually play. I mean, the problem here is that either uh, this guy is alone now. That's all fine, but I think there might actually be another enemy close to where me and the service died. And if that's the case, he might revive them. The people who died there. That would not be in our main interest, and thankfully it seemed like our level 37 sentinel actually understood it. I actually thought he was playing playing recruit because of his rifle but that that might actually be the sr25 and not the g28 so shows what i know yep and everyone is alive and now there are, is one less alive It's a trap. Sometimes you want to activate the recon tower simply to lure your enemies in. To try and make them get a bean on the recon tower. And I think this was what happened. Also makes you show that levels aren't everything. But if he was a 
Ah, oh, never mind. Uh, I was just a bit curious there because he, he seemed to be a sentinel. Sentinel. And that. Oh, it was Devil Eye who was the sentinel. He's level 37, that explains it. The reason I was curious was that. I thought it was the level 34 that was the sentinel, and the sentinel is locked to level 35. I am currently in basically the chase to play the medic, so. Now, I don't know if the medic is as overpowered as everyone I pretty much accuses it to be, but hey. Hunt down and eliminate hostile forces in the area. We got the MP5, so, so things are reasonably good. Deploying drone. The funny thing is, I might have actually called down a mortar strike on the enemy mortar operator. I'm not entirely sure, but I really hope that's what I did. Minefield. Now what we want to do is get into the town as quickly as possible. Break any contact they might have on us. These uh, llama embryos or whatever they are, they really creep me out. There's a lot of them too and all of them basically just creep me out. Here I was hoping I would be able to sneak up on the guy. Well, there's something else we can do about it. We can move up and place a mine on the guy. I just fi need to find out where the fuck he died. But I lost his signal. Oh well. Why waste a good I'm mine? A mine for Sicario friends. They revived him now, and I. Do you see where the sniper went, the guy they revived? Yeah, there is. Now that's the diversionist. They're coming from two directions. The recon tower is back online. We've got enemy activity. Back in position now. I'm feeling a bit safe with the mine there, but I shouldn't feel all too safe, really. In fact, I shouldn't feel... If I can, I would have liked to place a mine at Recon Tower, but I'm... Fair. Oh, That's there goes the mine. Yo, I'm placing and there the goes mine the second here. mine. If they, if they want to take the Recon Tower, they have to do... They have to go for me to get it. Now, where's that sniper? Hostiles are going loud. Man down, man down. Charge. We're gonna take him. One hostile remaining. We got him. Sweet. That was pretty good. Shit, man down. I don't know what I just blew up, but it was glorious. Fuck, I made. Visual with the We are unmarked again. I really should try and fall back and crap, I just realized there's no one guarding the dead guys by the house. That's gotta be where the head the guy is heading. At least that's what I w where I would head. But there's a mine there at least, so... <laughs> like I said, there was a mine there!
Well played. So let's turn the tide on this, guys. Last game for the evening. I had a rough day, so... I'm not all... There are games I cannot play when I had a rough day. Rainbow Six Siege is one of them, and Ghost War is another. Oh, he's actually playing Assassin. Nice. And Ranger was taken. So I can either play the Enforcer tank. I actually think I'm gonna go with Point Man. I don't play Point Man often enough. Down and eliminate Off we go. enemy activity. We need to stay down and advance. We can't be suppressed, so we have to use that. I don't like how this game handles optics. I just want to have that written down as it were. Because right now, as you can see, if we use the optic like this in the 2x, the optic itself is not 2x. The only the thing that's activity. different is Marking how how far away we we ourselves are from the site. Man down, man down. So it's not as much as a zoom as it controls how far away you are from the optic. And with sniper sights, that is very annoying. Hostiles are going loud. I don't know where the... Fix on me. I want to That's overload the there. I actually got him with the blast. That's pretty sweet. I didn't shoot the barrel to get the guy. I shot the barrel because I wanted a distraction. We got enemy activity. Shit, man down. And the distraction worked down. better than down. I could have Hostiles hoped going for. Loud. Frag out, get some. Frag out, reload. Sniper down. Let's get this we took terrain, we held terrain. Sweet. Got him. That was a good game. That is where the point man excels, basically. We, were, we basically just redeemed ourselves there, but... Uh, why didn't they just get dedicated servers instead of all this shit? But hey. Thanks for shooting in, I'll catch you all later.